Hey, so today I want to give you guys an update on my uh, my daily point system that I do. Um, what kind of sucks is my average is actually been going up. So remember, I get I dock myself five points a day, and then I try to build up as much as I can. Um, so. In May, when I started this, uh, I started on the 11th, and for May, my average was negative 1.64. June, I did the entire month, every single day, my average was negative 1.8, so it wasn't as good as May, and now, now that I've done July, my average is negative 2. Um, obviously I haven't finished today yet, so that is going to change maybe a little bit once I go through the day. However, each month I'm getting worse and worse, which is not good. So I need to, uh, I need to work on that. However, I am loving this point system. I think it lines up with my personality really well because I don't give myself any rewards for these points, but my personality is I like to make a checklist and check it off. And that's what I think these are. Like when you wake up in the morning, you, um, what are you going to do today? And it could be working out, it could be exercising, it could be eating healthy, it could be going to work, it could be studying, reading, whatever. And it just makes me feel good when I can go through and check off some of these check boxes for that day. Um, so I am working out a lot more. I am studying more. I am... Um, I have meditation down, but I, <laughs> every single day I've put down zero, so I know how to do it. I just haven't actually done it yet. Uh, I've been trying to get eight hours of sleep. Um, <clears throat> uh, I've gotten back into Mandarin, so Pimsleur is the uh, meth method of choice I use to learn languages. And I've already gone through Mandarin. When a long time ago, I went through Mandarin one, two. And I stopped around Mandarin 3, like lesson like 5. So this whole time, I have just been reviewing Mandarin 2. So once I get up to uh, 3.5, then I will be in new territory. Um, this morning, I did 3.1. So I'm getting pretty close, and I'm pretty excited. <sighs> pretty excited about that. But it's just amazing to me that I've spent all these months, and I've just been doing review. So, a few notes um, that I had recently. Um, see? I gave blood today. So, I gave myself a point for giving blood. And I started giving blood right by the time I started doing my point system. So, that's another thing that I'm doing. That I love this thing so much. Um, if I'm really sick... So, these are a few updates that I've decided to do. If I'm really sick, I just leave a blank for the day. Um, instead of giving myself a negative five, and that is if I'm really sick. Um, each additional soda, I'm going to give myself a negative 1.5. So the first one will be negative 1.5, and the second one after that will be negative one. So really discouraged me from having soda. Um, I had been reading a few different textbooks. One was nutrition, another one was um, anatomy. Nutrition is hard. It can get very complicated very fast. Um, so I'm going to put nutrition on hold and only do anatomy until I'm finished. Um, I had a column for swimming. I deleted it because they're not opening the pool this year. And I don't have access to a pool maybe until next summer. So I just deleted that. Um, something I've thought about is... Um, give myself a zero instead of a negative one for more than three hours of video game if I can get five points for the day in other things, not counting the video game one, but in other things. So that would be like a little reward for myself. If I get five points elsewhere, then I can reward myself with playing a video game without it hurting, without giving myself a negative one. Um, I've also thought about giving myself a negative one if I got less than six hours of sleep. As of right now, I give myself a plus one for eight hours or more. 
So if I get less than six, give myself a negative one. I don't know if I'm going to implement that or not. Um, however, I would encourage anyone out there to <clears throat> formulate your own system like this uh, to give yourself points for, make your own list, give yourself points for the things that you want to do during the day and maybe or maybe not reward yourself if you do reach your, your daily goal. Um, I am 42 and I have no children. I am looking to build a legacy. A legacy is going to take my entire life and because of that I need to get started. So I would like to be healthy and knowledgeable and smart and I want to give back. That's giving blood is part of my way of giving back. Um, I want to be able to speak another language and I've chosen Mandarin to be that other language. So it's one of those things where I've been spending way too much time playing video games and watching movies that I decided that at the end of my life, what will, when I look back at my life, will I be happy? Will I be, will I like what I, I did in my life? So I'm trying to build a life where the answer to that is yes, that I did do something. I was knowledgeable. I did have skills. Um, I was healthy. I did give back. So I would encourage everyone to, uh, to come up with their own and send me a private message if you if you do because I'd be curious about what you would put on your list if you if you're going to make a list of uh, daily daily points